Good afternoon, Exiles. So, Sarah and I are getting married. And uh, telling everybody we're getting married at a roller rink. Uh, with the disco ball, black lights, the whole nine yards. And you have to do the limbo to get down the aisle to... Of course, that's just the only way to do it. And our first dance is naturally going to be the Hokey Pokey. And our wedding's going to be in September. And between now and then... And then afterwards, too, my videos are going to be changing. So uh, I'm going to be slowly moving the stuff that's not important and not critical to me to her house and setting up my van that I already started doing a video on to be a tool room and start a handyman business and that kind of stuff out of it. And then also after I move and after we get married, move, I move in with her. We'll probably be doing more videos of cooking and of stored food because there's a lot of videos on preparedness channels and stuff out there. They're like, here's how you store food. Here's how you do this. But there's not a lot of videos on how to cook with stored food and how to do practical things. So we're going to start doing more of that. And we're also going to fix up our house to start selling it. And the reason we're planning on selling it is in order for us to buy a farm together. So we're going to do videos on us uh, setting or fixing up the house, putting a new carpet, painting the walls, patching drywall, the whole nine yards. And then we're also going to do videos on some homesteading activities we're going to do at our house. But we're not going to put a lot of infrastructure stuff in because we want to move and buy a farm. And the reason we want to buy a farm is not only do I really want to be a small farmer like I did in probably my first video. You know, ducks, chickens, quail, price of microgreens, maybe some sheep, small stuff that's highly profitable. And then uh, not only is it, we want to do that, but we also want to build uh, some like cabins or maybe some wall tents in a part of the farm off to the one side. And that can be a uh, hip camp where people can come camp there. Uh, hang out in a nice cool wall cabin with like old style looking uh, bunk beds in it and wood stove. I think it'd be really cool. But also having a farm means that we're producing our own income and we're not reliable on outside income from jobs and stuff like that. And no matter how bad the economy is, people need to eat. And we will always have food because we'll have the ability to produce more food on our own. Because uh, we don't have to worry about a f keeping food in the freezer and the power going out if the, uh, the food's out back eating grass right now. And we just have to go outside, grab a sheep, do what needs to be done, throw it in the oven. And having the wall tents and the cabins, wow, it got really dark all of a sudden. That's weird. So having the wall tents and the cabins and everything means that if things turn into another 19... 30s Great Depression, which I hope and pray that that doesn't happen. We'll have room for our friends and family and members of our preparedness group can be able to move into those cabins and wall tents. Now it's getting really bright and over bright the video. Anyway, so uh, that's what the update I wanted to do for you guys. Uh, that's about all I have for today. I don't want to get too rambly. Those are the changes coming up in my life, and of course, because I'm changing a lot about my life and progressing towards my goals in life, the videos are going to change to reflect that. So I hope you find this video at least a little bit inspiring. Uh, thank you for joining me on the journey to use God's gifts to grow His kingdom, prepare for the future, and live a better life.